hey there and welcome back to another video so for this video i thought that as the rainy season has begun and it's time to chill enjoy the smell of rain and everything around us as it goes to lush greenery so grab your cup of tea or coffee and let's start a painting together so for today's painting i am going to be using this small canvas and we are going to be painting using acrylic paints this time a quick description about acrylic paints that they are water based and they dry very quickly so we'll start by using burnt sienna and the painting which we are going to be doing today is of oranges on a tree and i'll be using a flat brush and paint the branches of the tree so this is going to be a mixture of burnt sienna yellow ochre and just a hint of black in it and uh, we'll just lay in the outline first for this painting i don't have anything particular in mind i'll just be going with the flow and how it comes to my mind so right now i'm just laying in the branch and after that we'll lay in the darker tone just to give it a shadow also to mention that if you are seeing that pink color behind this branch it's because uh, earlier i was going to try something else but uh, it did not fit because of the size of the canvas so i'm just painting over it but uh, it will work as a under painting for this painting and it's also using acrylics and it's a mixture of red and white also the drawing but it doesn't affect the new painting because i'm just going <laughs> to ignore that After the branch is done I'm going to be using cadmium yellow and paint the outline for the oranges After the outline is done I am going to be using burnt sienna to give the shadow effect of the oranges and it is going to be just on the border and then I'll blend it with the cadmium yellow and uh, for this work we need to do it little quickly because since acrylics dry very quickly we don't want them to not be blended with each other but to give that curve for the oranges we need to work quickly and blend them together and slowly and steadily we'll get that curvy effect and right now i'm just going to leave it that way and work for the background so for the background actually i have mixed crimson red along with cobalt blue so yeah this will give that a purplish effect and i'm also going to go with the shadow effect so i'm using more white on the top and on the downside i'm using more of the darker tone and will blend in between After adding in the background, this is the final look. And I tried to avoid the branches as much as I could, but we can just paint over them, so no need to worry about that. And now we are going to go for the leaves. And the color which I am using here is viridian green. And for the highlight of this, I'll be using a little bit of black along with lemon yellow 
to give that highlight effect. So after the leaves are done I am going to be again working on the oranges and now the color has dried and we are going to be working again using lemon yellow and cadmium yellow to give that lighter effect and that shadowy effect as well and yeah we are going to be working until we get that perfect look. After that is done for the highlights I am just going to be using white and a very light lemon yellow on it and blend it together and uh, when we do this it will give that perfect curve. After that we are going to be working on for the highlights of the branches and for this I am directly using burnt sienna and uh, yeah placing it here and a little bit of white. So final touch ups on the oranges and yeah we can uh, work until we are satisfied with the look and this is not going to be perfectly realistic but recognizable as painting so we are just going to call it as semi abstract and yeah just working on the final touch ups and that's it adding the white for the highlight also after the painting is done for the borders of my canvas I generally paint it using a prop black color so for this canvas also I am going to be using the same Finally, I will be signing it with my initial using a white color and that's it for this painting. So here is the final look and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and share your comments. Also, it would be very helpful if you subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.